Hey, how you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing all right out there. So uh, the, the title of this video is uh, Tabor Talk, and uh, I'll, I'll explain here what that means here in a second. But overall, uh, this video, I want to talk about, you know, what, what I would propose as a county commissioner for uh, when it comes to taxes. And uh, I'm using a model, uh, referring to a model that was developed out in Colorado called uh, TABOR, which is an acronym for the uh, Taxpayers uh, Bill of Rights. You can go online, check it out. Now, I ain't saying, and I'll explain here in a second, but I ain't saying we're gonna do, I wanna do exactly what they do out there. There's a lot of differences, obviously, uh, between what they're doing out there and what I wanna do here on, on a local level. Uh, so anyway, so, you know, as I've talked about in previous video, my views, uh, on what I'd like to do right away, getting in there uh, as county commissioner when it comes to uh, when it comes to taxes in terms of cutting stuff. So you know the emergency fund sitting at forty two million dollars right now uh, for the county. I I, I want to cut that, and I also want to look into the miscellaneous expenditures that uh, that the uh, county gives uh, tens of millions of dollars to, and a lot of that has to uh, goes to behavioral health, uh, specifically with Bert Nash. And, you know, it, it, and we'll talk about this here in a second, but it's interesting, you know, Lawrence Times just did an article on how uh, ineffective and inefficient Burt Nash is. Meanwhile, the county is, uh, continues to give them millions of dollars of, of your taxpayer money and it, it's wasteful spending. So I want to try and I want to, I want to limit all that. And that's basically what, what Tabor does. Um, it, 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 limit, it limits how much, uh, how much revenue, how much tax revenue the uh, government can collect and then b by limiting that or capping that then it also limits caps how much they're able to spend as well so i want to kind of go into that as well again the the Tabor model that i'm basing this off of out in colorado is, is not exactly the same that i want to do do here so I, i'm not going to take all of those uh areas that Tabor uh out in colorado encompasses and just apply it here but i think there are some good things some good things um that are with Tabor, and that, that's why I, I would like to uh, I'd like to implement part of it. So, like a, a Tabor-like policy or a modified Tabor uh, policy is what I'd like to propose when I get in there. Now, there are three areas that um, that I would like to incorporate on that, and the first one is is that um, all uh, it would mandate that all tax increase proposals by the county commissioners gets put to a vote that goes back to the community. And it will ask the community, uh, hey, uh, we want to increase taxes. Um, and uh, what do you guys think of that? You want to vote yes or you want to vote no? We'll go into that here in a little bit. Uh, the second thing is it'll it'll cap tax revenue. And, and I like that because for a lot of reasons, man. I mean, you cap tax revenue by default, you're going to cap tax spending and within that it'll also cap the the emergency uh, fund balance and also it's all within you know this emergency fund balance doesn't fall outside of the amount of money that that can be collected it, it, it's all it's all in there um, so uh, these county it's going to force county commissioners to make decisions well <laughs> how much do we want to have our emergency funds be you know of, of the limited amount of money that we can collect do we want you know, 3% of that to be towards emergency funds. Do we want five, you know, do we want it to be one, zero, and whatever the case, they, they gotta figure that out. <clears throat> they gotta figure that out. And we'll go into a little bit more here here in a second on that as well. And then the 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 last thing, the, the third thing is that uh, this that I would propose is uh, refunding all surplus tax revenue. So uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna set a cap and now the, the cap the yearly cap will be based on a, a formula of just uh, a fl inflation for that for that year, and the uh, the assessed value of real estate. So so property uh, property value. So based on that formula is how much money uh, the the government or the, the county can can collect. So uh, it'd be different from from year to year, but it is a limit. And if that limit is exceeded then that money, that excess money, will uh, be returned to the taxpayer, and it'll be returned uh, based on, uh, you know, based on your income, because it's based on how much you would uh, pay in taxes. So, 
the higher your income, the more taxes you pay, the more you'd be refunded. And then, you know, opposite of that, the uh, the less you make, the less you pay in taxes, so the less you'd, you'd be refunded. So there's some incentive there as well, you know, you go out and make money, man. Go out and make money, it gets taxed, and then you can get a, you can get a refund. But along, along with that, then we'd also, you know, back to, you know, turn it back over to the voters to decide on this. You know, another provision within that would be that the county could put it on a ballot and say, hey, uh, We've exceeded the uh, amount of revenue that we've uh, that we've collected this year, and uh, you know, you know, and normally that would be refunded to you. But this year we're asking if we can go ahead and spend that that uh, excess revenue, and we put it to a vote. It'd be either yes or no to the community, and then the community could say, yeah, we want you to go ahead and spend that money. Maybe we need to spend it on some areas this year that that uh, need some more need some more financial assistance, or they say no, man, we we don't want you guys we don't want you guys doing that. Um, so, uh, the, the main thing that I like about this Tabor is that it does, it does two things. It, well, I mean, it does a lot of things, right? I mean, it could put money back into your, your pocket, take less money out and put more money back in at the end of the day. But in terms of like what it does for the, uh, uh, the county commissioners for holding, holding our, uh, representatives accountable is it does just that it makes them be accountable and it makes them be responsible so right now the the county commission is basically just operating on a on a blank check man they're they're uh, they're saying they got like a wish list man their wish list is is out of control they're like we want to spend millions here millions here millions here millions here and now we're going to raise your taxes to to cover all that well Tabor takes the opposite approach to that and says well now the, these county commissioners man they they have a budget man they, they can't go over they can't go over there's a cap on it so it forces the commission to actually sit down and hammer out ideas and on what they on what they want to uh, spend money on what they think is, is is valuable instead of just just having to go out the go out the door as fast as it, as it comes in and even faster than it even is coming in you know and then the taxpayers are stuck foot in a bill and, you know, like I just mentioned, man, you know, Lawrence Times just wrote an article about how Burt Nash ain't being very effective. And a lot of our money is going towards that. So not only will this uh, make our uh, county commissioners accountable, but the county commissioners will have to hold uh, things like Burt Nash accountable as well. So so they'll say so they'll, they'll kind of force them to be in a position of like going back to Burt Nash and be like, yo, Burt Nash, man, you need to explain to us. You need to show us the data that if we give you this money, man that it's being put to good use and it's being effective. And if you can't do that, man, we're, we're not gonna give you the money. So the accountability, you know, the tax, you know, like it should be done, man. The taxpayers, the citizens are holding the county commissioners accountable with their limits that they can spend. So because the county commissioners are being held accountable by their by the citizens, now they're gonna turn and they're gonna hold everyone else accountable that they're trying to give money to. And, and people are asking, you know, these agencies are asking for money, then the commissions aren't just giving them blank checks saying, hey, we feel good giving you all this money, man, we're doing good things, they're gonna say, if we give you money, man, we need to know that it's it's being effective. And right now, it's not being effective. So we're just, you know, money is just flying out the flying out the window. Like I said, the other thing that I think is a really good, is, is just a total positive about this, man, is when you put this back to a vote, uh, a yearly vote to the community, man. J just think of the community engagement that, that that could generate, right? So each year, man, you're gonna have uh, people tuning in and being like, "Yo, do we want this money?" coming back in our pockets so we want to go back to the community it, it, it gives them incentive to want to, to pay attention to the local politics that are going on around here and I think right now uh, what I see you know being on the ground almost every day with the local politics around here is that people just you know for various reasons I mean, they, they just don't really know exactly what's going on around here um, and, and so something like this you know if you're voting to get more money back into your pocket or you're voting to say uh, no uh, we, we, we do need to spend it on you know uh, roads or, or whatever the case it is for that year that it may need some more money that's gonna you know more or less kind of hopefully you know force people to to tune in a little bit more and get passionate about this stuff and and learn about the issues and, and learn about you know these decisions that are impacting their life and it'll give them uh, it'll give them a lot more uh, a lot more say on uh, it'll give them a lot more say on what's going on around here and you know power to the people man and I think that's you know I think that's great but so that's what I want to do. So if I'm county commissioner, like I said, I'd go in there and first thing I want to look at is cutting out forty, you know, cutting into that forty-two million dollar 
emergency fund right off the bat and cutting the miscellaneous funds as well but i want to propose this taper now the interesting thing about this is that i want to go in there and i want to propose it and you know so if i get elected i'm on the i'm on a commission with two other democrats so i'm going to pro propose something that i think is a really good idea that could be really beneficial to the citizens and to the community and at that point man i, I, I put the I put it back on to those other two commissioners to either get on board with it or not and if they get on board with it then great man we got a nice a nice taper like policy here that uh, is, is a new fresh idea and uh, you know could be really beneficial to the citizens on a lot of different levels but if they say no you know like i just said now they've said no to something that could be really beneficial and really helpful to a lot of different people and now these democrats you know and these democrat leaders are saying no to it and it's like well why would you say no to that man well, why why do you why do you why do you say no to that why why do you want or why do you think that you can just continue to have this blank check and and send this money out over to uh you know over to uh all these agencies and have no accountability and no responsibility there at all. So, you know, so basically when I think of Tabor and hopefully when you think of Tabor, man, you think of accountability and responsibility, man. If you limit how much money that the government can, that the county can can uh, take in, in revenue, that'll limit how much they're going to spend. And because they're limiting how much they're going to spend, they're going to they're going to be a lot wiser, uh, you know, within their decisions and, and who they give that money out to throughout throughout the community. And, you know, just, just overall, you know, you know, I, I think that's, you know, just good for everyone. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think. I'll be talking more about this as we go along. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, hope you guys have a good, a good rest of your day.